Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 which is Redstone 4 build 17101 and by the way if you're on the skip ahead you are on 17604 you have now passed the uh, March update and you are now starting Redstone 5 and I will be talking about that in the next video because I have it installed on one of my machines install went flawlessly no problems hopefully it went well for those that had issues um, basically this build took about three hours to install which is typical of this this machine which usually has pretty much that type of um, of um, of length of install basically um, what I have to say about the build is it's pretty stable. It still has a few or uh, some bugs that are known. For example, you still have the crashing on the teams. Don't worry, this is going to be fixed at some point. It's, uh, it's, they know it doesn't work right now. It's something they do uh, know. Not a lot of new features and this is to expect. We're getting now into the last stretch of the Windows uh, Redstone 4 and one of the interesting aspects of it is if you look at the Windows version you will see that when version 1803 is now the version instead of 1709 so it's telling us we're there and we're really really getting there soon of course it's still a actual evaluation copy and you still have the watermark that's going to be there for you know until we get the real deal so uh, kind of nice. We uh, are advancing and showing that basically we're almost there in the uh, rest on four build. So what's new for the little features there's in here? Well, um, if you look at the uh, emojis, uh, they've kind of tweaked the emojis, something I never use. So in the touch, the keyboard and everything, they've tweaked some of these emojis to make them look better. Apparently some people were complaining that they weren't basically looking right and they wanted to have him change which I don't personally really care about but if you use emojis you might find that kind of interesting to see that there are some uh, fixes in here for the emojis also if you are um, well in the Windows app permissions because we started having you know app permissions for folders in the last uh, few updates they've also once again in the privacy section uh, if you go down you have now have file system so um, you have the possibility to allow allow access to file system on this device what that means is basically you know windows 10 is kind of locked down at some point if you access some some folders or say you want to access a windows folder it is blocked by default because it is uh, kind of a protection well, you can change the access to an app and give it permission for that. So uh, this is something you can also allow f apps to access the file system and so on. So there's, um, you know, a little bit of tweaking here about app file system permissions, basically. If you have a uh, compatible machine and have Windows 10 Pro for workstations, new power plan, you now have the possibility to choose ultimate performance so basically when you went to the power plans you had uh, in general you know a, a setting for uh, balanced or you know performance and so on now here on my laptop I don't have it but some of you will see here ultimate performance giving the maximum performance possible to a device trade-off if it's run on battery you will see the battery drain much much faster so uh, basically um, this is one of them also out of box application so basically when you install windows 10 and you get in the uh, install and then you're at um, if you're running the workstation a workstation or enterprise edition there are some new stuff new things about the out of box experience and focus on productivity when we actually look at what default apps are there and everything so more tweaking of the uh, out-of-box experience after the uh, first basically the first run of Windows 10 if you want that's pretty much what we have about new stuff 
uh, lots of fixes, of course, because that's what they are doing and there are tons and tons and tons of fixes. Known issues, still one problem, longer than normal at 88% mark. As long as 90 minutes sometimes before moving on, be patient. Uh, plugging an external optical drive, it caused Explorer to crash. The settings will crash if you open themes. Uh, buttons on game bar are not centered correctly and selecting a notification after taking a screenshot or game clip opens the Xbox app's home screen instead of opening the screenshot game clip. And uh, so they fixed a lot, a lot, a lot of things in here for sure. So uh, this is, uh, of course, the continuing of fixing bugs, making tweaking things here and there. So, you know, from now on, don't expect to have uh, many new features. Expect to have an increase in the number of builds. Uh, typically, as we get into the last stretch, we might have two builds a week. Um, I believe the record is three in the same week. So, you know, that is because they are going to push builds and builds and builds to make sure that uh, you can test them out and see what's wrong with them before we actually arrive to the point where it's going to be released uh, in March. So that's pretty much what I have to say about this build. Uh, if you are interested in seeing what the skip ahead build is like, I will be posting that also on the Insider channel. And uh, we'll be uh, talking about it here a little bit, but um, not um, having the full review of the Redstone uh, 5 build. That is skip ahead. One last thing, I've been uh, looking at people saying, well, you know, I didn't choose skip ahead and I got 17604. Um, you know, I've been looking at that and pretty much what I think is that you just didn't realize that in your Windows Insider settings, you were set for skip ahead and basically it gave you that because, um, I don't know, it kind of not supposed to be like that. Um, also, an interesting thing uh, happening is the um, the uh, skip ahead, which is kind of closed. But some people that have never been there and actually activated the skip ahead say they got the skip ahead. So I don't know if they kind of opened it for a little bit more users, but it was typically supposed to be closed. So I don't know uh, what's happening with that. So uh, that's pretty much the, 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 the build we have. Uh, very stable apart from the known issues for me. And, uh, well, that's, you know, slowly getting pretty much what we will have in March. So if you start looking at the features in the last few reviews, you pretty much have an idea of what's new and what's in there in the latest version that we'll actually all receive as insiders in March and probably early April in the mainstream. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.